Let's have some fun today. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Hi friends, I'm Kate. This is a playful and approachable yoga class for all levels. So we're gonna be practicing at the top of our mat. We're gonna be changing perspectives and practicing at the back of our mat, but we're gonna be feeling good the whole time. So if you practice this class and you like it, give it a little thumbs up. And if you wanna practice more classes together, subscribe to my channel. There are fresh new classes coming out every single week so we can practice and deepen our yoga practice together. So whenever you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. All right, friends, we are going to start off today's class in child's pose. So wide knees, big toes come to kiss at the back of our mat, and then folding forward. And we'll just arrive here. So immediately, maybe you close down the eyes and relax through your body and start to tap into your breath going inward. And notice how even when you send a little bit of concentration to your breath, it immediately starts deepening and elongating. And you don't have to try too hard here. Just keep on going with the sensation of deepening our breath. Maybe on your exhales, you release a little bit deeper into your child's pose, allowing your hips to sit heavy, allowing your chest to melt towards the floor, maybe rolling out your forehead, and then palm your hands forwards so that your elbows come off the mat a little bit of a deeper shoulder stretch here just bringing a little bit of activation in and engage your core so navel in towards the spine press into the hands and on your inhale come up to tabletop and allow your exhale to send you back down into child's pose So your inhale brings you to tabletop. Your exhale, child's pose. Just really gentle warm up as we sink our breath to our movement. Inhale to tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. One more time. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale. Child's pose. Now ripple up to a tabletop. Hands under shoulders and knees under hips. And let's find some motion here. So whatever's calling for you today, maybe that's swaying forward and back, warming up your wrists or turning your hands so your fingers are facing the long edge of the mat and swaying side to side. Or maybe that's taking traditional cat-cow where you inhale, look up. Tummy drops, tail rises. And exhale, chin to chest. Round through each vertebrae. Cat pose. Inhale, look up. Tummy drops, tail rises. Cow pose. Shine your heart through your arms. Exhale, round. Press the mat away with your palms. Inhale, look up. And exhale, round. Beautiful, we'll come to a neutral spine now. Walk each hand into the middle of the mat and inhale your left hand up, excuse me, your right hand up. Like the wing of a bird reaching up. And then exhale, needle it through your left arm and your left leg. 
Your right shoulder comes down to the mat for a big shoulder opening. Your left hand can crawl forward or you can wrap it around your back, reaching into your right pocket for a bind and then twist your chest skyward. If you feel very open here, you can try a fun little balance where you shift your weight onto your right knee and then lift your left leg in the air. And we'll take three more breaths here. If your leg is lifted, lower it gently. Press your left hand back into the mat. Inhale the right arm up. Release that shoulder. Let the blood flow back into it. Place both hands on the mat. Inhale the left arm up like the wing of a bird. Do the other side now. And exhale, needle your left arm between your right arm and your right leg. Left shoulder meets the mat. Your right hand can come up towards the top of the mat. Reach around your back. Or if you tried it on the other side, you can try for the balance. Shifting your weight onto your left leg, right leg comes in the air. Navel in, glutes on. Long, slow breaths. And if you're trying that, you can lower your leg. We'll take a few more breaths here. And then press into the right hand. Inhale the left arm up, just reversing the stretch, letting the blood flow back into your shoulder. And then place your left hand on the mat. Tuck the toes, press into the hands to send the hips back in space, then up, downward facing dog. This might be your first downward dog of the day, so pedal it out, make it feel good. Maybe breathe on the finger, I was gonna say fingertips, but I guess it's tiptoes. And on your exhale, reach your heels towards the ground. Then inhale your left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, left knee to left tricep so it's really high up on the arm. Feel the engaging of the cores, the core, <laughs> and the abdominal muscles, the whole corset of the abs wrapping around, coming to that center line. And then drop your left foot on the outside of your right foot, pinkies touch, and press back into downward dog with these twisty pretzel legs. Feel how this is different in your body. Two breaths here. Nice, bring the left knee back up to the left tricep and place it back in traditional downward dog. Inhale your right leg up. Exhale to right tricep, really bring it up almost into your armpit. We're engaging the core here, navel in. And then place it on the outside of your left foot, so pinky, toes touching. Press into the hands a lot, feel this sensation. Different way to breathe into downward dog. And inhale your right knee to nose, step your right foot forward, back knee comes down. Inhale both arms up, 90-90 with the knees. 
and exhale, sink it all forward. Hips go down and forward. Your inhale reaches energy through your fingertips, elongate the top half of your body while your bottom half stays grounded. Tuck the back toe. Lift the back knee on an inhale, crescent pose, nice and strong. On your next inhale, straighten both legs, turn towards the long side of the mat, and wide-legged forward fold, prasarita. One in-breath here. And on your out-breath, crawl towards your left foot. Turning towards the back of our mat, different perspective. Back knee drops now, left foot in front. Inhale, both arms up. Come to 90-90 with the, the knees. And exhale, sink your hips down and forward. Top of the body rising towards the ceiling. Lower body grounded. Tuck the back toe on your inhale, rise into crescent. Back knee comes off the mat. On your next inhale, straighten through both legs. Turn towards the long end of the mat and fold forward, wide-legged forward fold. Crawl towards the front of the mat. Step the left foot to meet the right foot. Inhale to a half lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll up to standing. Breathe your arms overhead. Create space between your ribs and your hip bones. And exhale, prayer hands right to your heart center. One big breath in. And one breath out. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, forward fold, hug it in. Inhale to a half lift, long spine. And exhale, step your right foot back in space. Stay in this lunge position so you're shining your chest forward and have it be a really long lunge. Now you can get into this lunge and typically we don't allow a yogic rule, air quotes, is to not allow your knee to go over your ankle. But I want you to really lean into this one and see if you can increase your ankle mobility and even your knee mobility by allowing your front leg to go where it needs to go. Really getting deep in this lunge. And then come back to knee over ankle both hands on the floor, and we're gonna float into warrior three. Bent leg with the left. Breathe your hands to heart center. Back foot flexed as if you're pressing away a wall to keep the activation, navel in. And then straighten through the left leg, expand the arms to either side so we're stretching in all directions. Neck long, back leg long, arms wide. And then slowly, slowly touch down into crescent pose. Straighten through both legs. Shorten the stance if you need to for pyramid pose. Fold like a waterfall over your front leg. But continue this action of bringing your right hip forward and sending your left hip back. If you want to deepen your calf stretch, pop the toes of your front foot. Navel in. On your next exhale, come into a side lunge on the left. So left heel down, left leg bent, right leg straight, skandasana. Float on over to the other side. Skandasana on the right, low lunge on the right. Both heels firmly on the floor. And then pivot your chest towards the short edge of the mat so we're facing the back of our mat again. Find this lunge position where you're shining your chest forward. 
fingertips on the ground and find some motion here, maybe rocking back and forth. Maybe you allow your knee to go over your ankle and really get into your hamstrings, your calves, your Achilles tendon. It's okay. And if you don't want to, you don't have to. And realign your knee over your ankle. Press into the fingertips and float your back foot up. Supported warrior three. Bent right leg. And then float the hands to prayer pose at heart. Straighten through the right leg. Press through the back foot. And straighten the arms out to the side, reaching in all directions, navel in. <sighs> Slowly bend the right leg, touch down so sweetly into crescent. Straighten both legs and exhale, pyramid pose. Option to shorten your stance here, float the back foot more forward, or should I say more backwards since we're at the back of our mat? And just pour yourself over that front right leg. Let your neck be heavy. Find this action of pressing your right hip back and your left hip forward. See how that activates the hamstring stretch. Maybe you pop the front toes up in the air, pulling that stretch down your calf. And then step your left foot back a little bit more to create more space for your side lunge. Bend to the right. Maybe this time you get a little bit deeper in your hips, so maybe you take a twist, bringing your right hand out to the floor reaching your left hand up, or maybe both hands are on the floor and that's perfectly fine. Explore the space that you have available to you while we try and explore new space as well. And then float it on over to the left side. We'll take the same twist. So your left hand comes, meets the ground. Your right arm reaches up, spiral your chest open. Try to keep a long spine here, happy spine. Beautiful. Turn towards the front of your mat. Step your right foot to the side of your mat. So both feet are wide, heels in, toes out, Malasana Yogi. Squat. So sit deep in your squat, and maybe that means you move around. And if both heels are up, that's totally fine, or you can come out of your squat a little bit. So a couple options here. I'm going to give you an option for an arm balance. If an arm balance isn't in your practice today, feel free to just take twists and play around and explore your squat. If you want to take crow, then set up for it now bringing your knees high into your arms, looking forward, squeezing the core, raising the heels towards your glutes. Maybe you straighten through the arms a little bit more, soften with the face. Hold for one more breath. Beautiful. Both feet together now, inhale to a half lift, Shoulders down the spine, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart center, one breath in. One breath out. Inhale, breathe the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Let's take a vinyasa step, jump back and take your flow. We'll meet in downward dog. And when you get there, inhale your left leg up. Really reach through your left toes towards the sky. At the same time, reach your right heel down. And then exhale your left leg to the left side of your hand. So a wide stance here, lizard pose. Find some motion, rock forward and back. 
You can drop your back knee, untuck your back toe, and come down to forearms if it serves you. If you're on forearms, you might want to come up to your hands. If you want to take the next variation, which is swimming your left hand back in space, grabbing onto the right foot. Option here is to bring the foot forward for a calf stretch, or excuse me, quad stretch, or kick the foot back open through the shoulder. Two more breaths here. Release with control. And then heel toe your foot over to the right side of the mat, so coming into pigeon. Your shin does not need to be parallel with the short edge of the mat. Your foot can be more towards your body, but wherever you are, see if you can stay upwards and active in your pigeon. So your glutes will be activated, your back is on, your hips are working. Maybe you float a hand, maybe you float both hands, maybe you play with breathing them up, reaching towards the sky, sternum proud. And we'll take five more breaths here, however you want to take it. Beautiful. Start to walk your hands back onto the mat. Tuck the back toe, lift the back knee, and step your left foot up into the air. So three-legged dog, just to stretch it out. And place the left foot back on the floor. Inhale your right leg up. Exhale, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Lizard pose, sink the hips deep. Find movement, front and back, side to side, up and down. Maybe you drop the back knee and tuck the back toe and come onto forearms. Knowing that if this is an intense hip stretch, that we can calm our nervous system and breathe deeper, bring in a sense of calmness and self-soothe, self-regulate ourself so that we can hold our body, let it feel safe, knowing that we're just fine, just breathing right here. And when that happens, our body tends to open up to us a little easier. So bring in that sense of ease. Come up to your hands, big windmill with your right arm back, kick up the left foot. And you can bring the foot in for a quad stretch. Or you can kick the foot back and open up through the shoulders. Beautiful, slowly release the foot. Heel toe your right foot to the left side of the mat, setting up for pigeon on the right. Straighten the back leg straight behind you and see if we can find an active pigeon today. So square off both hips towards the front of the mat if you can. If not, you can always place a block underneath your right hip. 
And once we're settled in here, maybe you float one hand off the mat, come to fingertips with the other, maybe you float the other off the mat. Strengthening the back, maybe you inhale both arms up, And maybe you settle into humble pigeon, folding forward over your top leg. Relaxing your body here. Breathing space into the right side of your hip. Knowing that with a soft face, and big full breaths, our body is adjusting in real time, opening for us little by little, opening with us. Five more big, full breaths here. Maybe as you release your hips, release any tension that you're feeling, maybe you allow a smile to gently come to your face. And then slowly walking your hands towards your body. Roll over onto your right side so that your left leg can come around. And stack knee over knee so your left knee is on top. We're coming into cow face legs. So your left ankles by your right hip, your right ankles by your left hip, and your knees are stacked. But more important than your knees being stacked is that both glutes firmly rooted to the floor. So inhale to a really long spine and we'll exhale forward fold. Now bring a little bit of surrender here. So maybe you take palms face up as a little reminder to bring in gentleness, to bring in release, that non-grasping aspect. Slowly start to walk your hands towards your body. We're gonna take a fun switch out of this posture. So bring your hands back behind you, kick both legs out with control like a can-can dancer. <laughs> and then stack them the other way so your right knee is on top this time. Settle in here, so find both glutes firmly on the floor. Take an inhale to a really long spine. And then exhale. Fold forward. <sighs> now allow this position to look and feel however it does right now. Not judging our practice for what we think it should be. That's why I love bringing in the, the theme of playfulness into practice. Sometimes we can get so reverent, so, so serious, but joy is a practice of yoga as well, to bring in the joy, to bring in a sense of playfulness, vitality, 
So let go of any of the expectations of, of what this should look like, what it should feel like, how practice is or was. And just be here. Start to walk your hands closer to your body. Bring yourself upright. Take both feet, the bottom of the feet, onto the mat. And we're just going to release them. So we're going to take some windshield wipers here. Bring our knees to the left and to the right. And we're also going to shake it out. So maybe bring your feet up in the air. Maybe bring your arms and just allow your body to move in a way that is natural and intuitive. And then come to stillness, closing down the eyes really gently, allowing a little smile to creep into your eyes this time. Feeling a sense of lightness, of levity, of vitality. We'll close with a breath together as a class. So empty all your air out. And big breath in. Gentle hold at the top. And slow exhale all the way out. Prayer hands at my heart. Namaste, my friends. It has been an honor practicing with you. So I hope you feel a little bit more open, a little bit more light after that class. If you like playful classes like that, I have a whole playlist of fun, creative sequencing that you can tune into anytime. It's linked in the description below. I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you on the mat soon.